This isn't vibranium or adamantium, it's simply the igneous bedrock of continental Africa. Yet, look at the extreme amount of stress that this modern hardened steel machine is going through. And archaeologists still expect us yeah, to believe that in yeah, Egypt, yeah, they did it all by hand, with slave labor and copper tools, and not with any type of iron tools that were forged via a kiln or furnace, just with tiny brittle copper hammers and chisels. This block being transported on this flatbed weighed just under 80 tons, and its density is not even comparable to granite. And look how precariously it has to be transported out of the quarry, like just a giant accident waiting to happen. And yet they expect us to believe that the ancient Egyptians extracted even larger blocks and traversed across the hilly terrain of the Aswan quarry, bringing these blocks with them, out of those precariously positioned granite outcrops, and even extracted several 800-ton single-piece obelisk, as well as the 200-ton serapium boxes, all by hand, then transported them some 500 miles, on some tiny 40-meter wooden boats. In that case, we have to insist that the archaeologists and the so-called experts are clearly wrong, because unfortunately, that's not how either buoyancy and water displacement or inertia and momentum works.